We got big news happening this week on The Wire. ANZ opens up investor loans, prices up in three capitals and the regions, and the ATO to check property claims. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest. I'm Australia's leading financial educator. Looks like my light's gone out, so you're gonna have to talk to me in the darkness tonight. Uh, how am I Australia's leading financial educator? Well, after growing up in a poor suburb of Gosnells in Western Australia, I retired at the age of 27. Uh, ever since I've spent my time traveling around the country, well, not only just the country, uh, overseas as well, teaching hardworking everyday Australians how they can reach their financial goals. I've trained over 18,000 people how to live their life they really want, achieve things like home ownership, travel and lifestyle, and early retirement. Uh, we love to see your interaction with these posts, so uh, please like, love, angry. Uh, thanks a lot, of course, for tuning in, as you guys always do. And please share this information with your friends and family. It's valuable information. It can help them out as well. But let's get into the top stories happening this week. So ANZ, this is the biggest story coming out of last week. ANZ has opened up the books on interest-only investor loans. So ANZ has relaxed the restraints it placed on interest-only mortgage lending in 2017 and has indicated it's easy its attitude when it comes to lending to property investors. So the big four bank centers, it is once again offering customers an interest only period. Now previously they only ever offered a five year interest only period, they've now extended this to 10 years. Not only that, but what they've also done is enabled people to get onto an interest only loan with what they refer to as a 90% LVR. As effectively what that means is a 10% deposit. Previously that was an 80% 80, 80 uh, LVR loan or a 20% deposit. So this is really big news. I know there's some people out there that have been suffering a little bit previously on interest only, unable to maybe do a refinance or something along those lines to keep their interest only period going. But now ANZ has opened this up. So that's really great news for investors. Uh, the changes suggest ANZ is trying to lift growth in the investor market and that's after the chief executive Shane uh, Elliott last month admitted the bank had been over conservative. It's also the latest sign of a loosening in restrictions on int uh, investor and interest only loan growth after APRA removed the caps that it placed on that previously. On a recent review, we have made a decision to increase our focus on the investor market. This is a direct quote from ANZ Chief uh, Executive Officer Shane Elliott. The upcoming changes demonstrate our continued appetite in the investor market while ensuring we remain in line with our APRA requirements. So they're not the only big four bank that are doing 90% LVR interest only loans. CBA are also doing that, plus there's also some of the tech second tier lenders out there. So if you're someone that's in that position, you might want to get in contact with the team so that we can help you out there. But let's move on. Prices are also up in three capitals. So new research indicates that three capital cities recorded price increases in the December 2018 quarter, while key regional centres also recorded price growth. The Real Estate Institute of Australia Real Estate Market Facts Report says the national median house price declined to 733000 for the quarter, which was due to falls primarily in the two biggest markets, which are Sydney and Melbourne. However, three capital cities bucked the downward trend. Good news. Perth. Okay, buck the national trend as well as Adelaide and Hobart. The uh, Real Estate Institute of Australia President Adrian Kelly said the lowest median house price for a capital and for the quarter was $475,000 in Adelaide. The report also noted that while prices had declined in Melbourne, regional areas like Geelong, Bendigo and Ballarat recorded strong price growth. There was a similar trend in New South Wales as well, where Sydney prices were generally down, but in most centres in the regional in regional New South Wales, they've recorded annual price increases as well. Finally, moving on, the ATO has declared that it's going to be checking property claims. So property investors will attract uh, closer scrutiny from the ATO after audits of 3,000 investors revealed errors in their tax returns. Okay, a lot of people are getting things a little bit wrong. That's the Tax Office Commissioner, Chris Jordan. And that's what he told the Tax Institute's National Convention in Hobart. Jordan says property investors are his next focus following a crackdown on inappropriate work-related expenses, which yielded $600 million in extra tax revenue. So we're seeing incorrect interest claims for the entire investment loan, where it's been refinanced for private purposes also incorrect classification, so that's where you may have done the refinance, but the use of those finance was for personal uses. People have been claiming that interest, okay, you can't do that. All right, uh, also classification of co uh, capital works as maintenance. So you can claim maintenance, however, if you're doing a capital improvement to a house, that comes off the capital growth, uh, the capital gains tax function, not off yearly claim. 
Uh, and also, taxpayers not apportioning deductions for holiday homes when they are not genuinely available for rent. Okay, property owners declare about $44 billion in rental income and $47 billion in costs associated with property ownership, including interest only loans. The ranks of positively geared investments in swelled over the first financial years of this decade, but the figures show, thanks to a combination of falling interest, uh, so, sorry, uh, so the number of positively geared property in investors dramatically grew, and that was primarily due to a combination of falling interest rates and higher rents, guys. So look, they're the three big stories. Apologies for the lights. Hope you guys can see me all right. Okay, most importantly, I hope you can hear me. Uh, like I said, please, we love to see your interaction with these, share, uh, with these uh, videos. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We love our followers. Uh, please like, love, angry, comment, question. If you've got a question for our Just Ask Tim video series that we do every week, please comment in the box below. And uh, if I don't answer in one of our live video series, I'll, I'll make sure that I get back to you on one of our social media channels. Of course, also please share this valuable information with your friends and family. Helps us continue to build a bigger audience. And of course, it helps you guys and your friends and family achieve their financial goals as well. Guys, remember the only thing in life that makes a difference is action. So get to it, take control of your finances and uh, really get started on a fantastic 2019. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later on. Uh, we'll see you early next week. Thank you.